Biomimicry as a Tool for Innovation by me, Parker Gunn. Earth settlements have been defined by their key features for hundreds of years. From the Roman Colosseum to Times Square, they have stood as key points on which to judge a civilization. With growing issues in climate change, we need to shift the paradigm of design. One possible deviation would be biomimicry. Biomimicry is the use of nature as a model for innovation and ingenuity. But why do I think that? Design activists such as Julia Watson suggest that we look towards nature for inspiration, as they hold knowledge that has been accrued over millennia. Even ancients such as Marcus Aurelius knew this, as in one of his meditations he states, whenever the short way, for the short way is according to nature. By this he means that nature is more efficient than other things. The biggest way innovation can be influenced by biomimicry is in architecture. A necessity in all forms of construction is the material. Biomimicry shows great potential in revolutionizing our materials in which we can build with. According to S. Das, a researcher from the Academy of or the Indian Academy of Sciences, biomimicry can be an inspiration to develop innovative textiles. To support this, he brings up the example of weavings based on shark skins, like this one which offer a possible uh, strong canvas material, which could be waterproof and cheaper than other alternative fabrics. Historical evidence shows the same point, as in many historic structures, they use biomimicry such as the Golden Ratio in buildings like the Parthenon, which still stand, at least partially, to this day. The Golden Ratio is a ratio often found in nature, which is 1 to 1.6 and is strong, and just one example of ancient using biomimicry. According to Semin Ariyildiz, a professor with PhDs in urbanization and environmental sciences, um, Frank Lloyd Wright has tried to mimic natural ecosystems in his architecture, saying form and function are one, and he uses nature as the best example of this. In a modern context, studies uh, that show forays into biomimicry in places such as France, show beneficial and are being phased in currently, such as this chapel. Between updated materials and historical evidence, it is clear architecture can be greatly influenced by biomimicry. Another field that can be um, further improved is the field of sustainable energy. An example of biomimetic innovation is solar cells. Raul Martin Palma, a professor of material sciences, states, Engineered biomimicry could provide advantages over conventional engineering. To support this, he says, all solar energy generation will be fired by plant photosynthesis. In the article, Engineered Biomimicry for Harvesting Solar Energy. In the same article, he proposes two possible ideas in which solar energy can be improved. One would be using panes shaped similarly to that of a fly's eye to improve the amount of sunlight that can be collected from one panel. Similarly, he states that using daylight-like protrusions on solar panels to increase surface area and allow for more absorption. The last field I'll, go, I'll be going over that can improve with biomimicry is healthcare. One such example comes from Hayato Izumi and their colleagues, all of whom are engineers and have made concepts for needles that are based off of mosquitoes for, for boss disease and have the potential to be more efficient and pain-free. They state that the effectiveness of inserting these needles was experimentally confirmed, and the effectiveness of the sharp tip for easy insertion was proven. Another example of medical technology inspired by nature are called dendrites, or polymetric trees. Their unique shape allows them to mimic certain proteins or act as binding agents to medicine that will allow them to be released at certain points in the body, so it can be carried in more safely. Both of these examples show innovation that wouldn't have been possible without biomimicry. Critics of biomimicry claim that the dangers and costs of biomimicry are not worth the challenge to implement, and simpler solutions are better. Architect Camila Brzezinski claims that just like a failing ecosystem can endanger the lives of organisms or entire species, a failed biomimetic E architectural ecosystem to endanger the humans for which it was built. 
proponents of biomimicry really disagree with this point, though, with saying that the benefits that come with biomimicry far outweigh the potential costs. For example, Julia Watson, professor of urban design at Harvard and Columbia, says, we'll only become wiser and more ready for the 21st century challenges we know will endanger our people and planet. By this, she means that climate change, that the benefits to combat climate change that come with biomimicry uh, outweigh the downsides. In conclusion, architecture, energy, and medical fields all can be improved by biomimicry on more standard forms of design. Many experts agree that there is a lot to be learned from Mother Nature, and that can be seen just with just current technology, such as solar panels. Though, as demonstrated in this presentation, many prospects for innovation, uh, there are many prospects for biomimetic innovation in the plethora of fields. Thank you. This is my work cited and the system. Thanks, Barry. So, how did you approach and synthesize the differing perspectives? in order to reach your conclusion? So I have a lot of um, similar perspectives, but I found that they were mainly cut into two groups. One of them was using biomimicry to form massive systems, and ones that used it in individual structures. And I found that I tried to use both to inform my conclusion and weave them together throughout my outline. Okay, good. Um, did your research go in a different direction than you originally expected? It was slightly different, but it was mostly similar. Originally, I was trying to prove that biomimicry was the strict next step in design. But as I went through my research, I found that it couldn't really be argued as a, the best next step, and that it really should be a mix. So I changed from the evolution to how it might be superior to some other forms and should be taken into consideration for design. 